All right, guys, everybody, welcome back to another episode, or recording session, I guess I should say, of Scrotitis Plays Minecraft. We have been busy, guys. This is actually where we set things up. We've got quite a lot of trees here. We've been, uh, well, we've, we've been collecting wood because we need it for our primary building material, but uh, let's uh, make our way through here and see what we've made of our little homestead. Ta -da. That's actually a really horrible angle. You can't really see it very well. Let's go over here real quick. And what about here? Looks like a good spot. Ta da! It's not too bad, huh? Uh, I left one section because we're going to do that together. I want to show you how I went about completing the roof. But uh, what do you guys think, huh? I think it fits pretty well. We got a lot of finishing touches to do still. But I wanted to sort of show where we were so far and uh, kind of do the rest of those bits and pieces with you guys. That's uh, our first steampunk building. Uh, like I said before, this is going to be our um, ore refinery, I think. Smeltery, if you will. I think it looks pretty neat though. Let's go check it out. We built a little porch area that uh, luckily it seems like our donkey is a little too stupid to be able to make his way out of. So uh, that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, it's just a little porch. I, I did find out that, look at this, birch fences, guys. You can actually make uh, the, f the fence recipe changed uh, before it was, and I don't have, well, let, yeah, let me go right here real quick. Uh, before it was, uh, six sticks like this. If you guys don't know, you probably all know already. Uh, now it is like that two sticks and four planks and whatever color plank you use then is the color of the fence. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that actually also happens to be the opposite of the gate so kind of neat to know right i believe that's a 1.8 change so anyway we uh swapped out the doors we've got um what doors are these these are the dark oak doors and i think they are just fantastic looking i love them so we got those we got our birch wood we have pumpkin lighting uh on all the main supporting beams on either side and we've got lots of chest uh, probably temporary I don't want to have all these chests like this but uh, we've got all of our stone here we've got wood in that one so basically building blocks in these two and then this is our miscellaneous whole lot of stuff we got an empty one here and our goodie chest look at this guys 10 diamonds our branch mine has been working out we haven't done anything further down here yet I want to do uh, this in the real real near future including our item elevator which is going to be over there and going up the outside let's uh, check out the rest of the inside can't really get back here easily but it's uh, an open area so there's room to do some things back there if needed uh, especially with wiring which may be necessary so let's go ahead and check out uh, actually you know what we're gonna need this and this and I think that's it we'll grab that too then. Mm, you know what we don't need to hear that buddy so if we come up top here ta-da here's the second floor and I forgot something else I wanted to do dang it or at least test out. I don't know if we're going to do it, but we may. So here is our second floor. And the first thing I'm thinking about doing actually in looking at this is swapping out this for the uh, oak planks. Just to give that separation that we have downstairs of floor and uh, walls. So that may be something that I do between episodes. Uh, but here's our ceiling. We've got this mini front porch sort of ceiling and we replicated that up top here um, obviously we need to make a transition there but uh, I love it uh, the steampunk feel I'm gonna apologize now my allergies have been really bad so if I'm extra nasally oh, it's because of my allergies and uh, I'm a little stuffed up right now so again my apologies but uh, let's actually get to building up uh, you know what we're losing the light um, all right 
let's jump down, grab some birch wood, and I will meet you guys here in the morning. Not birch wood. Oak. Oh, well. We've got all the woods now. Um, let me grab a snooze, and we will see you in the morning. So, that was quick. It is morning, and we are going to get to building this... Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> We're going to get to building the rest of our roof here. Now, what I did here, and I don't know if you could see this from the ground level or not, but I uh, sort of inlaid the roof from what these are supposed to be as support beams. I think that's sort of a neat detail that uh, I saw in a lot of uh, drawings of, those, of this type of uh, house. So I thought I would try to bring that across. So it's really simple, actually. Uh, we just put stairs up the first four levels, right like that. Okay. And then we begin going up. Um, I think actually the best way to do it is to do the level above it and then get our planks. Right, like that. That way we don't have to interfere with what's underneath there. We will come up here because once the stairs go down, you can't get up to this level. And then here... Let's see. <laughs> Do we go in one more? Oh, man. I don't have slabs. Uh, you know what? We'll do... Uh, now we're stuck. Um, we're going to have to do this from the other side. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be some damage. And there's a little bit more. <laughs> Didn't plan that one out well. We need some half slabs. So I guess we'll have to make them. That should do the trick. Let's get up here. And I guess we'll just build the rest from this side. If we can get up here. Oh, oh my goodness. Up and over. There we go. All right. So we'll build up from this side now. One, two, three. And, and this is really easy to achieve this sort of uh, structural overlay, I guess, of the stone or the uh, inset of the, of the roof. Um, it's the exact same pattern, but you just simply go up one full block before you start the pattern. That's all, it is. That's all there is to that. It's actually really simple. All right, so we're going to be finishing this off. We get that. Oh, that's not the right spot. Let's get this in place. Perfect. Bingo, bango, and then up. And of course, I am one step short of what we're going to need. Um, then we put the half slabs like that one two three four and i'll have to come back up and finish that off in a minute shoot is there anywhere else i think i do have one other spot that needs one of these half slabs yep right there so there we go and that's our roof all but completed for one stair. I think it looks pretty darn good. Let's come back here and check it out with the completed roof. Oh yeah, I love it. Well, let's go for, let's go over to the other side real quick. And then um, I want to do a little bit of detail work on the inside. Nothing too crazy, but look at this what do you guys think huh looks pretty good um, I want to cover the windows and I'm thinking since this is sort of our uh, our metal working our iron working if you will that we use some iron bars in our design so let's just do one of those for the time being and see how this works out like this and I just want to do these side windows first so I'm not sure what we're gonna do at the ends 
This is actually going to look really neat, I think. Perfect. That actually worked out really well. And it looks really cool. All right, there's that. Uh, one last thing. I want to integrate some lighting in. So we've got a bunch of these jack-o'-lanterns already made up. Where are... we got some of those. I think we're going to need these, actually. Oops. I had a dark stair. Where did that come from? No, we'll have to... I'll get that on without you guys. Oh. Sorry about the up and down. It's just... Uh, we're a little flighty right now, it seems. Let's see. We're going to need probably that many more. Probably 10. Well, we're going to need more than 10. But uh, we need lighting up here. And there's a couple ideas that I had for how to... Uh, how we could actually achieve this lighting situation. One is to do something like this where we're going to be making sort of a, a sconce on the wall with pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, I guess I should say. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. No, I couldn't get it. Oh, well. Um, and then we use these to cover them up. that and maybe cap it either uh, you know what I think I'd rather cap it with this like that I actually think that looks kind of neat I don't want it to take up too much space which I'm afraid of because um, my plan for the oars is that they're gonna come up out of the ground either in here uh, in this corner and come up through this hole or uh, more likely run them underground that way and bring the item elevator up there and bring them through this hole. That being the case then, or I guess the third option is up through the top. Um, but then I want to lay this out where this will be our smelting here. And just so we get the idea, let's do something like this. Um, do, 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 maybe something like this. Uh, okay. We're going to have this, and then we're going to have Fern Eye. Okay. We're going to have to have some sort of minimal hopper system back here. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Th this obviously isn't going to be here. This is going to have to be moved. Uh, and this isn't our permanent place of... Actually, you know what? This is going to have to come up at least two more. Looking at this. Uh, yeah, that's going to have to be up there. Uh, we're going to want lots of room back here for A, th so there's room for the, the wiring and the uh, the filtering. Um, built this on odds, right? I think five furnaces will do the trick. We may only use three. Um, messed it up. Or Actually, I may only need four now that I think about it. We have one for stone. Uh, one for iron, one for gold. What would the... Maybe we would only do three. And if that were the case, then we could do something maybe... Maybe kind of cool like this, where we have... No, I don't think that would work. Unless we fed in from the sides and the back of that one. No, that probably wouldn't work. And we're getting a little bit off um, task here. But it's kind of good to have this stuff planned out. Let's think about it. Um, obviously, th this isn't going to be a floating platform. Um, whoops. This is, these, they'll, they'll be hoppers underneath here to extract what, what ends up in that block. So uh, the hoppers would go out and flow someplace else. I, I'm not real sure, actually. Um, 
anyway, that's not the point. I think I'm going to bring them through the top. And that way these would be symmetrical. Uh, so let's get uh, back to the lighting. Wow, that was a long trip, wasn't it? Um, hmm. What if we do something simple like this? And do... Kind of like that. Um, I wonder if it should be a block higher, like up here. Oh wait, that's the one we want. I think this would actually be a better solution than what we have up there. But again, we don't want to take up too much space with this. Hmm. What do you guys think? Which light do you like more? Or should we do something natural um, to sort of go with the theme? Something along the lines of... And I know that's not going to be... Yeah, that's not going to be your face the right way. We could do something like this. Uh with oh, no we, we need that let's uh the wood stair maybe something like that so i think i want to keep it on the inside since we're on the second level i don't want to do what we did downstairs and have the panel show on the outside i want to keep it on the inside uh, well, we got a lot of options. Let's let's call it uh, option A, B, C, or D. You guys let me know in the comments what you like. If I don't find anything in the comments, then I'll just go with what I decide and what I like. But you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to do it for this episode. This is my steampunk uh, furnace house, I guess is what we'll call it, since that's sort of what it is. There's a little bit of tweaking I've got to do. Uh, I may bring this uh, book or uh, these steps back one more, line them up even with this wood, um, sort of give myself a little bit more room. I don't know, or maybe not. It depends on how much room this is going to take. Anyway, like I said, uh, we're going to call that actually the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Scrotitis Plays Minecraft. I'm loving it. Hope you guys are too. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.